Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. I want to do a quick run through for my clients and anyone else who's interested to show you how to set up gift certificates the, using WooCommerce. The system that we're using uh, makes use of an extension called Smart Coupons, which is available from WooThemes. You go to WooThemes.com, go to WooCommerce and go to Extensions and then do a search for Smart Coupons and you can click on Documentation and FAQs and you'll find the documentation for it. But to save you having to go through all the documentation, I just want to give a really quick run through for part of what this system can do, which is gift certificates. Um, if When you go through this uh, documentation, or if you go through the documentation, you'll see that it's a lot more powerful than what I'm about to show you, that you can use it for coupons and things as well. Um, but basically, a lot of you will only be wanting to use it for gift certificates, so that's what I want to show you. So after it's been installed, whoops, wrong screen, after it's been installed, you'll be able to go to WooCommerce, and then within that, you'll find Smart Coupon. So you click on that, and this is the screen that you'll see. Of course, you won't see item move to trash, because I was cleaning up after this. Um, what we'll go to is we'll go to add coupon. So the first thing you need to do is you need to decide, well, what denomination coupons are you going to, or vouchers, are you going to offer to your customers? Um, in this particular um, client of mine, she wants to do $25, $50, and $100. So um, let's just start off by setting up $100 gift voucher. This is just the description here. We don't need to put a name in there. Um, we'll put, we'll use this, that's, sorry, that's the name. We'll use the same in the description. That didn't want to work. There we go. $100 gift voucher. And we want to go down here and make this a store credit slash gift voucher. Now, how much is the coupon amount? The coupon amount is going to be 100 now, do we want to allow free shipping? Um, most of the rest of these these boxes we're just going to ignore, but I'll just run through them quickly just in case you do want to specify any of them. Do we want to give free shipping to the person who receives the $100 gift? No, we don't. Um, do we only want them to be allowed to use this coupon by itself? No, we don't. Do we want to exclude sale items? No, we want them to be able to buy things that are on sale. Is there a minimum amount they have to use, uh, have to spend each time they um, use the coupon? No, there isn't. Do we want to restrict it to only being available to certain products, or do we want to take certain products out of the the coupon system? Same with categories. Do we want to say, okay, only certain categories are allowed to use it, or you know, sorry, they're only allowed to buy products from certain categories, or we can say exclude categories. So you basically you can say, well, you're not allowed to buy any products out of this particular category with this coupon. Email restrictions, um, that will come into play after it's actually been sold, so you can ignore that at the moment. Um, and these other ones as well, usage limit, like how many times the coupon, the coupon can be used, you probably don't want to put a limit on it. Um, and expiry date, you probably, again, because it's a gift, you probably don't want to put an expiry on it. Um, but if you wanted to, you can say, well, it's got to be used by, you know, the end of 2030 or something silly like that. Okay. Um, we probably don't need that. And yes, we do want the coupon to be generated for us. Um, and again, we don't want um, to, to put any prefixes or suffixes in there. So we just go publish. So normally you'll just leave all the rest of it blank besides putting in a dis name, description, choosing gift certificate and choosing the amount. So then we have got a credit uh, sorry, a coupon created for us. So the next thing we need to do is go and create a product. Now, um, we've already got some products created, $100, $50, $25, but I haven't added the coupon to them. So let's just go and edit this first one. Gift voucher, $100. So we can put in here, um, just wait for it to load. We can put a description in there if we want to. Um, it needs to be in a category suitable for gift vouchers. We go down here, we put in the price, which will be $100. Of course, you might want to um, make the price other than $100. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you might want to say, well, you can buy a $100 gift voucher for $90, um, or you can put a premium on it. So if people are you know, buying gift vouchers, they actually have to spend more than the gift voucher amount. But normally, you will just have the price of the gift voucher is the same as the value of the gift voucher. You want to tick virtual for these things because you don't want um, to be 
charging any shipping when these things are, um, are sold. And then here we want to put in the coupon that we're going to be looking for. So let's go $100 gift voucher. $100 gift voucher. So that's the one that we're going to be selling as part of this. Um, if you want to put an image in there, we can go set featured image and put a picture up. I don't have a suitable picture at the moment, but you might want to put a picture of a you know, $100 note or something like that in there. That's up to you. And then we go publish or update. And it's all ready to go. And now I'll just go to back to the website. I'm just going to hit refresh on this. I was playing with this before, so I'll just show you that it's still like this. Um, it's put in a description for me, which is purchase a Maggie Design um, gift voucher. Maggie Robertson Design is the name of this website um, for a hundred dollars, and it says by purchasing this product, you'll get the following coupon: store credit of one hundred dollars. So let's add it to the cart. I'm not sure if my cart's clear. I'll just pause this for a minute and make sure it's, it looks okay. Yes, it was. I just wanted to make sure that it was not had a whole lot of other stuff in it. But I just clicked on View Cart, and it's come up with <coughs> with this come up with this screen. So let's go to Proceed to Checkout. And by the way, the purchaser can buy a number of gift vouchers all in one go if they want to, because what it's going to ask now is what email address do you want to send each of these um, gift vouchers to. So they can put in the email address of the person they want to send the gift to. They can put in a message for that person if they want to. If, there's, if they've ordered more than one coupon, they can put in different email IDs, different messages for each one. Um, they go through the normal procedure of filling all this out and then they pay for it and they place the order. Now, if they have paid for it by PayPal, and you've got your IPN set up, which means that PayPal is going to tell um, WooCommerce immediately that yes I've got the money then what will happen is the recipient will receive their um, voucher immediately if they if you don't have it set up like that like if you've got it set up to go through something like a credit card system or something where you actually have to process that credit card first you need to change the order status to processing because when you get it it'll be pending you need to change the order status to processing to get the email sent out to the recipient to say here's your voucher number that's going to stop people from actually receiving the voucher before it's been paid for Okay, it's very similar to when you're selling a downloadable product. You don't want somebody to be able to download the stuff that they haven't paid for yet. So that's the basic principle. Um, one thing that I haven't tested yet and which isn't going to be on this video but you can play with it yourself is that um, when the recipient registers as a customer the um, system remembers what coupons they've got and so there's a one-click system that's described in the documentation where it says do you want to, do, would you like to apply this coupon because hey you've got this coupon which is associated with your email address and that's where that email address will appear in that um, box that I showed you earlier you know what email address is this coupon for um, and then you'll be able to to go with that so this is how you set up the um, the gift vouchers and if you've got any questions get back to me so yeah I just finished making that video and then I found this. Um, this is under WooCommerce and then Settings at the bottom of the first page of the settings. You can actually change quite a few, um, you know, customize things within the system. Um, this is something here that you would need that is not necessarily related to the um, gift certificates, but you'd need to have this ticked to say to grant access when you change the status to processing rather than completed okay that's actually ticked by default but just make sure that's ticked but here you can change the um, uh, you know quite a few of the different um, attributes of the emails that are going to go out and other items there and there's little question marks here so that you can um, hover over them um, don't forget also that you can change the layout and format and colors and things of all the emails that go out of your system through the email tab on WooCommerce settings so that was just something extra that I wanted to point out to you so you can customize your gift certificates so yeah